Hi everyone, it's Tanya and welcome to today's video. So today I wanted to do my reading habits tag. Unfortunately, I found the original video, but it has been deleted, so I cannot provide you the link to the original. But I will have all the questions in the description box down below, so if you want to do it yourself, you are welcome, you can do that. Okay, and so all the questions in the tag have to do with how you like to read your books. And the first question is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? So in my case, we live in a one-room apartment in Tokyo and there isn't really much choice <laughs> where to read my books. So I usually read either at my table, which you have probably seen in some of my reading vlogs, or down on the floor. I also really enjoy reading on the floor. <laughs> so that's like my two main places to read books. Also before this whole virus situation happened, I also <laughs> read during my commute and in coffee shops. But now, on the home. Next question. Bookmark or random piece of paper? <laughs> Bookmark. I really like bookmarks, but 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 i make my own bookmarks like if i <laughs> if i buy something like a product like cookies for example so this for example was a, this is a piece of packaging <laughs> for cookies but i thought it was cute and so i just cut it out and now it is my bookmark also i eat this chocolate i like chocolate so and this particular brand of chocolate has very beautiful packaging like this and so I just take it and now those are my bookmarks, but they're pretty. And also when I buy books from Book Depository, Book Depository sends you bookmarks and also sometimes some advertisements send you like mag magnets, but I thought that this guy was cute and now it's also my bookmark. Like you can call pieces of packaging pieces of like random piece of paper, but they're pretty pieces of paper, <laughs> right? I don't just take like a random thing, like for example this, I wouldn't use this as a bookmark. Um, so yeah, I try to find something cute, something that I like for my bookmarks. That's why I consider myself a bookmark person. <laughs> okay, next question. Can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter a certain amount of pages? So in my case, I don't really have like very strict rules. I <laughs> I just stopped if stop if I want to stop. Ideally, I have to finish a page. Like the like in this case, I would read like this and this, and then I would turn the page, and then I would know that like next time I start from the very beginning of like the first page on the spread. So yeah, I try to like finish finish the spread <laughs> at least. So I would know that like I have to start from the very beginning of the next page. Next question. Do you eat or drink while reading? No, I don't, because I'm not very good, I mean, I'm terribly bad at multitasking. Like, I either eat <laughs> or I read. <laughs> it's like a poem. I either read or I eat. <laughs> okay, and sometimes I can have like a cup of tea, but even in that case, cup of tea actually just stands on the table. <laughs> I don't finish it. It's because I'm concentrating on like on one, on something like singular task at my hand, which is normally reading. So no, I don't drink or eat during reading. Next question is about multitasking as well. Music or TV while reading, which is also no, I don't listen to music and I don't watch TV while reading. I can have like an ASMR video on the background that doesn't distract me. I actually really like reading with those like Harry Potter ASMR videos on my back background. But other than that, I really cannot do. Music distracts me because it has songs, for example, if they have words, I will listen to words and like it distracts me from my book. Even if it doesn't have, have words, if it's just like music, instrumental music, music creates a mood like i'm very susceptible to different moods that's like what i noticed about myself and music really changes my mood easily and if like the mo mood in the music and mood in the book do not correspond like it also distracts me so <laughs> you see it's complicated so i just i read without any distractions only asmr videos on my background one book at a time or several at once one book at a time, because again, 
I'm not good at multitasking and then I, I mean I tried to read a few books at the same time but then I noticed that I enjoy them less like I enjoy a book more when I'm like concentrated on this particular book one book at hand and if I have to like spread my attention and that then I just enjoy all the books less so now i try not to read a lot of books at the same time however if i pick up a pick up a book and i start reading it and i understand that i'm not in the mood for it at this moment i will just put it away even though like i have already started and then i will pick up the next book but i don't continue with it and, and until i feel like i'm in the right state of mind for that book reading at home or everywhere everywhere i can read everywhere like like i said when i worked i would commute and i would read a book or i would go to coffee shop sometimes and i would read at the coffee shop i also like reading at home so it doesn't really matter i like reading anywhere <laughs> reading out loud or silently in your head for this i have to say that i always read silently in my head i do not read books out loud i don't even like whisper words to myself i don't do that again it distracts me and also it i guess it just i guess it just takes more energy also out of you so no i just read quietly in my head also i feel like it's better because this way i don't annoy my husband and he because he can do his things or like watch his videos or listen to his music so i feel like it, it's perfect reading silently in your head <laughs> do you read ahead or even skip pages I do, but I only do it if I don't like the book or if I really like it and I want to know what happens next and I just cannot be bothered with all the descriptions of like nature <laughs> or like, feelings of the characters, I just want to know what happens, then I skip. But don't, not pages, I usually, I, like, I kind of just skim, read, I just very, like, you know, I look for like key words <laughs> and key phrases of like what's going on and yeah, but I don't read all the like descriptions and feelings, I just cannot be bothered. Or if I really do not like the book, if I find that like I just want to see how it finishes and what's gonna happen in the end, then I just, yeah, I can skip pages, I can skip <laughs> a lot of pages, um, but it only happens if I really don't like the book. Breaking the spine or keeping it like new Keeping it like new to be honest. I really don't think that I have a single broken spine on my shelf mm. I I really don't have like a single broken spine like for example Hobbit recently I read Hobbit and then I read this Snow and Rose I read Tolkien I read The Thief Lord. So, like, you see, all of my spines in this book, all of my spines are in perfect condition. <laughs> so, yeah, all of my spines are in perfect condition because I really like my books. Normally, I buy books with beautiful covers and I want my bookshelves to look beautiful. So, I really do my best not to spoil my books and like keep them in as perfect condition as i possibly can it also comes in handy if you want to bring your book books to secondhand bookshops so they would just accept them and yeah so i just try to keep my books in very good condition because especially if i like really like them and i want to keep them like forever in my library when i one day have one and the last question do you write in your books again i don't for the same reason because like i want to keep my books clean and i want also i don't really know like those are fiction books like why would i write there like what is there to write <laughs> if i have like an idea about the book something like something that comes to my mind i usually i usually have like a note notes on my phone and i just write it down on my phone but i never write in books i don't even annotate my books again because i don't really see a reason why would i annotate them <laughs> uh, <clears throat> maybe one day i will who knows but at this point in time in my life i don't and yeah i just i just want to keep my books beautiful and clean there you have it guys 
uh, my reading habits let me know in the comments what are your reading habits all the questions will be linked down below do you break your spines do you read somewhere outside your, of your house do you skip pages or chapters or paragraphs it is all very interesting to me so let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching i hope you are staying safe and i hope you're having a very good day and i will see you soon in my next videos thank you very much bye